that so I'm assuming those are oil colors. It's all watercolor. Really? Yes, oh. it is. This is Turkish style. Okay. So the Turks were using uh, ground pigments in water, and they would add a little bit of animal bile, right. which increases the expansion of the paint on the water, but that's the result of a decrease in the surface tension. This one. Paper so how do you get your parchment to stay down? There's no paper in here. Yeah. No, it's it's the paper will be laid on top. Okay. Yes. It's all about surface tension. It's about keeping the paint on top of the water. See how it's expanding? That's why I assumed there was been oil there. Yes. It looks just like what oil would probably do if it was on like a turpentine or something. This is Turkish, and that wasn't invented yet. This is the earlier style. And I'm throwing a lot of water in here, and this water has a little bit of paint in it. <clears throat> and the paint has a lot of bile, so it's able to push through a lot of the other ones, other colors. So I'm going to take a needle and I'm going to curl and swirl. The paint. Oh, I see you're directing it. It's all on the surface. So when you do rows, that's called raking? Yes. It looks like the paper itself is rippled even though it's flat. Yeah, that's called Spanish. When you lay your paper down, you shake it. And that creates a distortion in the paint. allowed the paint to come intimately in contact with the paper and we get what's called a uh, covalent bonding. Wow. But it does hold on to something. My other paint, or my other paper, holds better. This is a nice, subtle pattern. 
Yeah. Same pattern, different paper. Notice okay. the difference? We'll come meet you. This paper holds more paint okay. compared to that paper. Okay, cool. but this paper's stronger. That paper's stronger over there. This is okay. wet. Okay. Same paint, everything. <laughs>